Do you like my makeup? No? She's like, I'm kidding. What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a super fun video and it is a haul of loads and loads of makeup that I've collected, um, I guess since the start of 2018, so um, over the last two months. Wow, I can't talk. Yes, so <laughs> I'm gonna start with the makeup I got from the drugstore um, as it's a cheaper option and I guess it's maybe of more interest to you guys because it's more accessible for most people. Um, I got some really cool stuff actually, so I'm pretty excited by what the drugstore has to offer. All the stuff I'm showing is definitely cruelty free, as I'm only buying cruelty free brands, um, which most of you guys already know anyway. So let's just jump right into it. So one of the first things I picked up was this setting spray. This is from B, which is the brand done by or produced by Superdrug. Um, so it's just a matte black bottle which says setting spray on, not very exciting. Um, it's about three or four pounds. It's suitable for vegetarians and vegans, um, which is really, really cool. Um, yeah, it's just a cheap, simple setting spray. It works really, really well. I'm really happy with it. It definitely keeps my makeup in place. Um, and it's just a good drugstore option for a setting spray. I like to spend my money mostly on like palettes, um, eyeliners and liquid lipsticks they're like my main go-to's and brushes they're my guilty pleasure um so i don't tend to spend a lot of money on things like setting sprays or powders or things i feel i could get um, for a cheaper price so stuff like setting spray is good to find a cheap alternative and i would recommend this one next up again from superdrug i have a couple of bits from makeup oh from, is it called Makeup Revolution or just a Revolution? I don't know. Um, so this is a pretty talked about product. This is Revolution's Conceal and Define New Concealer. I have mine in the shade C1, which is the lightest shade that they currently produce. Um, it is really, really light. So for those of you looking for a mega light concealer from the drugstore, this is a really good option. However, I like to wear um, Kat Von D's Whiteout Concealer and obviously this is nowhere near as white. And in fact, when I wear my foundation, which is Kat Von D Light 41, so again, the lightest shade of that, this is slightly darker. So if you're looking for a concealer for mega pale, this maybe isn't the one for you. However, if you are just in the sort of pale range, then this would probably be really, really good. Um, my younger sister is, she has a darker skin tone than me, not like mega dark, um, just slightly darker than me. Um, and she uses um, C3 to highlight her skin. So that tells you kind of how pale this is. Um, I'll give it a swatch for you here. I do like it as far as the um, consistency as far as how well it performs it is a really good concealer um, it's just unfortunately not light enough for me for my foundation see here so this is the concealer this is c1 makeup revolution and this is my foundation here kat von d light 41 so unfortunately it is too dark but um if i'm not wearing any foundation and i just pop that on to conceal or if I'm using a different foundation, um, for example, the um, Urban Decay All Nighter in the shade 05, this oxidizes. So this is a good kind of balance concealer to add with this foundation. So yes, by balance concealer, I mean when I put the concealer on, it kind of makes this seem a little better. I don't know why I worded it, worded it so weirdly. Um, yes. The other thing I have from Makeup Revolution is a palette that I only got a couple days ago. Um, I can never open these. Um, I wore it out yesterday. It is the Makeup Revolution Neutrals 2 palette. So it looks like this. It only costs £4, which is just insane. Um, and it's so good. The eyeshadows blend really, really nicely. I got a couple of compliments on my eye look yesterday. So, it, you know... I guess it shows it's kind of nice. Um, I'll swatch a couple of my favourite shades in there and I think you'll be amazed at how pigmented these shadows are, especially the shimmer shades. So there's just four of, I guess some of the, why did I swatch it in the most awkward part? Four of some of my favourite shades in the palette. Um, 
even for just one of those shades, four pounds is you know a good price for just one on its own. But to get this many in a palette is really, really good. Obviously, they are cruelty free, um, so yeah, it's a good little purchase to have in anyone's kit. Um, I guess we're still not over this warm orangey kind of eye. I guess we're still loving it. I'm not going to complain because I love it. So yeah. So the next couple of products I want to show you are from Superdrug's own line. Um, it's called Fantasy. I know they've got a couple of makeup brushes in this line. They have a couple of like makeup applicators or tools like, um, like a nail file, not an applicator, you know like kind of beauty tools, nail files, clippers, tweezers, stuff like that. They have stuff in this range and this was by the Tills when I went in and I thought this would be so good to add um to eye looks so obviously the glitter trend is huge um and these were on offer for £1.89 each so they come in a little square package like this um so this is purple stars and they are it's a huge container um for the price it's not focusing there we go so i've got the stars in gold silver and the purple that you just saw and then they also have another style and that's the packet for the other style and it's these um hexagons hexagons how do you, i don't know how you would pronounce it hexagons uh, so i've got those in blue purple and pink and i like when you mix like a really chunky glitter with a really fine glitter and do like glitter tears or around the face or whatever i think it's really really pretty so yeah for only a couple of pounds those were really really good to pick up i haven't actually used them yet like i said i've not been doing makeup that often i've just been too busy but i'm really excited to play around with these especially you can do some really cute festival looks not that i'm going to any festivals but i could still do the makeup um, when they're not on offer, I forgot to say, I think they're about two or three pounds, so they're really not very expensive at all. And to buy something like this from the stores on Etsy would be a lot more expensive, so it's a good... Oh, these were in the hair section as well, which I thought was kind of weird. Um, yeah, it says they're hair glitters. Um, it says to mix it with like a glitter fixing gel, so I guess when people do like with glitter roots or whatever, this could also be a good option, but I'm going to stick to using these for makeup. But if you are using these anywhere near your eye, please be very, very careful. I don't recommend it. It's only if you are <laughs> as risky as I am. Um, so I picked up this liquid, liquid, no, this traditional lipstick from MUA. I never wear traditional lipsticks anymore. Um, this is the shade Scarlet Siren. So it's a bright red. And the reason I bought this is because when I do like a really intense eye look, I like to use a... Um, a base on my eye before I put loads of shadow down so I thought by getting like a bright red lipstick that I don't really care about what I can just throw on um, I could use that as a base for my eye looks um, so I pop like a really bright red eyeshadow over just to give it you know a bit more hold and a bit more vibrancy so I thought I'd pick that up it was only a pound next few things I've got to show you are really really exciting um, and I'm so glad they've come out in like a cheap, accessible drugstore range. Okay, so I saw these on somebody's Instagram story. I don't remember who it was. I want to say it's Sammy someone. If I remember, I'll link her below. Um, I think she's from Brighton, but I'd always thought she was from America. Don't know why. And then I saw she was UK and I was like, oh my God, these must be available. Um, so the shade, the shade, the brand Barry M is definitely cruelty free. Some of their products are vegan. I'm not sure if they all are. Um, they have released this kind of holographic range so they have liquid lipsticks or lip glosses I'm not entirely sure and um, eyeshadow toppers so I've picked up a couple of pieces each piece I bought cost me $4.99 um, so there's four of these in total <laughs> still got the swatches on my fingers there's four eyeshadow toppers in total but I just picked up three because the other one I wasn't really that keen on um, so I have the shade number two, Asteroid, number three, Luna, and number four, Stardust. So I'll swatch those for you now. I feel like these are a really good dupe for uh, Black Moon Cosmetics um, eyeshadow toppers and lip toppers because I would love to use those brands. I would l use those brands? I cannot talk. I would love to use those products. However, the shipping to the UK is just so expensive that I cannot afford it. 
um, and then you also get customs too which just it almost doubles your order in price which I cannot afford um, so when I saw that Barry M had come out with these things I was so impressed so we have so we have asteroid here Luna here and what is the last one stardust um, so we've got like a greeny tone, a purpley blue, and then this is a pink, it's just not picking up very well on camera, you can kind of see the pinky purpley tones. Um, so I thought these would be so cool to play around with and do similar things that you would with the um, Alchemist palette. So top from over a black eyeshadow could be really really cool. Um, if you want to see your first impressions with these, let me know and I can do that for you guys because I haven't um, played around with them, that's the first time I've opened them, just to give them a swatch. Um, so if that's something you want to see, let me know. I also grabbed one of the liquid lipsticks, again, oh no, I keep calling it a liquid lipstick, it's a lip topper, so similar to, I guess, the um, Urban Decay lip toppers, again, Black Moon Cosmetics. Um, yeah, so I don't think they're too similar to the Glimmer Veils, because I'm wearing one right now, and it's really um, opaque opaque is that the word I don't know it's really pigmented and really intense whereas these are a little more um, soft and more of a lip topper um, so I got the shade spellbound I really wanted to buy the shade hex purely because of the name but I knew I would never wear it because it was kind of like a brown tone and it's not really my kind of thing so I didn't pick it up I can't remember what the others were they didn't really interest me uh, so this please focus is the shade Spellbound, so it's just like a white um, with pinky kind of reflex. It's really similar to the shade White Lie in the Urban Decay Lip Toppers, which I was going to buy, but it was out of stock. Um, so now I've got this. I do want to get the White Lie still, and I guess I could do a little comparison. Um, again, I haven't tried this out on my lips yet, so if you did want to see a first impressions on this whole range, then definitely let me know and I will maybe even pick up some more of the products. I just kind of want to just have them in my collection because maybe one day I might need something in that kind of realm. But yeah, so that's those, 4 dollars each. So next we are on to um, high-end kind of makeup or more expensive makeup. Um, I did go a little bit crazy in Kat Von D. Uh, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't talk about that. Um, I just, I'm obsessed with the brand. You guys will know it's my number one. Um, yeah, so I've got a lot to show from there, but I'm just quickly going to talk about this one product which I picked up the other day. Um, also, if you guys do not have um, Debenhams beauty cards, you should definitely get one because I always put in online orders or just use it in store, whatever. Um, didn't really think anything of it and then I went to buy this product and the lady was like, oh, you've got £5 worth of vouchers on there, do you want to use it? And I was like, uh, yes. So it's the Optical Illusions um, primer from Urban Decay. So this is the packet it comes in. It's really, really cute. Um, I've never even seen the packet before. I've only ever looked at the product, but you know, I guess it's kind of cute. So this retails for £24, but I got it for £19 because I had um, random vouchers on my card. So that was really cool. So it looks like this. There's so much primer in this bottle. Um, I'm not sure. So it's almost one fluid ounce. So I think my foundation is, yeah, so my foundation is one fluid ounce, so you get almost the same amount in this, um, and when I use it, I literally use like one pump, and that's it, so I think this is going to last me a really, really long time. Um, I've used it three times so far, and each time I've used it, I am obsessed. So I used to use the NYX Pore Filler Primer. Um, I heard it was a dupe for this, um, so the whole idea behind this is that it really, um, you know, it's an optical illusion, you look better, you, your pores are less visible, smoothing, rosehip and argan oil and pore perfecting. Um, so I used to use the NYX pore filler, now I use this and I can definitely see the difference, this definitely performs to a better standard. I'm wearing it today and I think my skin looks pretty good. So I'm really, really impressed with this and I definitely recommend this primer. The only thing is I wish it was a little bit more hydrating. It has got the rose hip and argan oil, so there's some hydration in there, but not to the level that I um, need for my skin. So I think I'm going to pick up the uh, Kat Von D Hydrating Primer, which I used to use, but I ran out because nothing can replace that amount of hydration for me. <laughs> 
these are all the things I got, um, I think it was in January. So um, I've said it before, I'll say it again, until we get one, there is no Kat Von D counter in Southampton. I'm salty as hell about it. I won't ever get over it. I'm mad. Um, so whenever I go to London or someone I know is going to London, I always take the opportunity to be like, could you grab this for me? Could you grab that? The main reason being, you can get it online, but everything I want is always sold out online and they always have it in store. So um, my younger sister was going to London in January and I gave her a list. And these are the things I definitely want. If there's any deals on or there's anything you see that I might be interested in, let me know. Um, and it just so happened on the day she went, there was 15% off, I think everything in store. Um, so I got some pretty good deals. So we'll start off small and leave the bigger things to the end. So um, I'll show you the less exciting things first. So the first thing I got was the Locket Concealer Cream in the shade Whiteout. Um, I'm sure you guys have all seen this. I used to use this a lot on my channel, but I ran out um, and it's kind of pricey to buy. I think it's about 23, maybe a little bit lower. I got this for 17 pound, so maybe, I don't know. I got it for 17 pound in the sale. Um, so I didn't buy it again because I literally couldn't afford it. Um, so I just had to wait until I could afford it and now I have it again, so I'm really, really happy. The next thing I've got is another repurchase. I think this is the third one I've bought now. Um, it's just so good. It is the Tattoo Liner from Kat Von D. Again, you guys all know this product. You've all seen it a million times. It's like a, a cult favorite. Um, I'm obsessed, obviously in the shade Trooper. It's gotta be black on black on black. <laughs> I love it. Um, the only thing is I feel like it runs out so quickly. I do use liquid eyeliner or eyeliner. Um, every day. So what I've done is I've bought a um, a smaller NYX eyeliner. I should have showed that in this video. How dumb. Um, I think it's the Epic Liner. It cost me £9. So I've bought that for every day because it's a nice eyeliner. I'm happy using it every day. And then this is for more like if I'm going out, if I'm filming, if I'm doing like makeup that really matters, then I'll use this eyeliner instead. Um, so the next thing I picked up is a Metal Crush eyeshadow. This is the first one I've ever bought. Um, so I'm really, really happy to have this in my collection. And after swatching it, I definitely want some more. Oh my God, I can't get it out. Um, so I haven't used this in a makeup look yet, but I'm definitely excited to use it. This is the Metal Crush shadow in the shade Iggy. So it's the bright green. There is another greeny shade. I can't remember what it's called, but it's more of like a yellowy green but this is like the bright kind of really vibrant green that I am obsessed with. So just one quick swatch there, you can see how pigmented it is. It's so incredible, I definitely can't wait. I wish I had this eyeshadow when I had my green hair because it would have been really, really cool, but um, I'm still happy to have it. Um, I can't remember how much these retail for, but I got this for £13.60. Um, and that's with 15% off. So for a single eyeshadow, it's kind of pricey, especially in terms of when you're paying like four pounds in the drugstore for a full palette, to pay like 15, 16 pounds for an eyeshadow does seem quite expensive, but um, just the level of pigment is just insane. And Kat Bunny's eyeshadows are incredible. So the next thing I got, I'm super excited about. This is the Basket Case Anti-Precision Eyeliner, which was the, um, collaboration with Billy Joe Armstrong and I haven't I haven't seen it in person before I put it on my list and it is huge like this is the tattoo liner and for comparison this is basket case like it's just so much thicker and it's just massive um, so I've not used it yet I'm definitely excited to but I didn't realize it's limited edition so now I feel like I want to get like another 10 um, so on the left there, is it your left? I don't know. This one here is tattoo liner and then this chunky one is basket case. So you can see there is a big difference. Obviously, I mean, they're different eyeliners. So the whole idea is that this is really smudgy and it's good for really like grungy looks. Um, so I'm really, really excited to play around with that as I haven't done it yet. The next thing I got I'm wearing today it is the Everlasting Glimmer Veil in the shade Reverb. I want the whole line of the Glimmer Veils except the pink. I'm really not feeling pink. It's not my shade of pink. <laughs> um, so it is this bright blue. Like I said, I'm wearing it now. I did have a swatch of it. It is 
there um yeah it's just so gorgeous um i love the glimmer veils i think they're so they're so pigmented to just put one coat on and it be that impactful is insane um i would recommend it glimmer veils forever um i just wish there was like a really bright green kind of a shim shimmer a similar shade to iggy that would be amazing and she did release the uh limited edition one i don't remember what it was called i wanted it so bad but again us only i hate living in the uk because all the good releases are in america and i'm so mad about it it's a hard life someone needs to set up a business where they just like take orders from uk people buy it in america and then ship it off maybe make like a little bit of commission but you would get so much money um right the next thing i have to show you is a um highlighter palette so i wasn't really sure about getting this palette when i'd seen the pictures of it online i thought would i ever really use those shades i'm really just a white kind of highlight only except for today i've got a little bit of purple going on but majority of the time i'm just a white highlight kind of person so on seeing this um in pictures i thought that is not for me i'm never going to use those shades especially the pink um, I just thought like what's the point in wasting my money um, I ended up getting this for £27.20 um, so I think it's about £30 um, so I guess it's you know £10 per highlight kind of thing um, and then I said to my sister like she said it's on offer do you want it and I was like can you swatch the middle shade is it nice she was like whoa I was like what she's like it's really pigmented it's really white um, I was like, do you think I would wear it? She was like, I think you would. So I was like, you know what, we'll get it. See what I think about it, see if I like it. So I've just really, <laughs> why do I swatch it in the most awkward places? Oh, wow, you're never gonna be able to see this. Okay, you kind of see it here. Um, that was a brief swatch. Maybe just Google swatches. I don't have enough clean fingers left. Um, so the shades are gamma ray helix and rose shock um what's the middle one helix yeah helix is probably my favorite i mean i would have guessed that already that helix would have been like my, my go-to but i really really like rose shock yeah rose shock when i do like red eye looks to use this in my inner corner and my brow bone just gives it an extra dimension an extra pop of color um and it's so pretty the packaging is just insane like can we talk about how gorgeous that is like i am in love so yeah i'm really really happy i ended up picking that up so thank you casey for making me step out my comfort zone and buy this product <laughs> the last thing i have to show you i was again on the fence about whether to get it or not it is the mini metal matte palette so i already have the metal matte palette so i was like is there any point in me getting the mini one? Because is it all five of the bottom shades you have? Yeah. So this is the original metal matte palette and this is the mini metal matte palette. So all of the bottom row here are all matte shades and you already have those in this palette. Um, but I kind of justified it by this is limited edition. And while I probably won't hit pan on these shades, if I do, I now have backups of all of those, or if something happened, if it's broke, whatever, I have backups on a lot of those shades here, which is good. Um, and the thing that really sold it to me was the top shades here. I think you only have, yeah, there's only one of those shades um, in the Metal Matte palette, so you get four new shades here. However, Thunderstruck is already available as a uh, Metal Crush shadow on its own, so I know loads of people have that already, but I don't. Um, I'm not sure about the other shades because the only Metal Crush eyeshadow I have is right there. But so you do get a lot of shades there. I don't remember how much this retails for. Let me try and check for you. Um, so I got it for £30.60, so it must be around £33, £34. Um, I believe this was £50, so this is about £30. So it is kind of more pricey when you work it out per shadow. Um, and you probably don't need it if you already have the Metal Matte palette. But I am just such a sucker for Kat Von D. I will happily throw my money at any kind of Kat Von D product and admit it to. Um, so I just think it's a really cute palette. Um, 
it's very small, very compact, it's great if you want to take it away. There's a lot of really simple looks you could do or you could do looks with a bit of a pop, um, especially you know if you're going away and you don't want to take too much with you, then it is just a really nice handy little palette. There's the packaging there and then again all the shade names are on the back like normal. Um, I haven't used it yet, um, I'm so crap at the moment for experimenting with makeup, but I'm really really excited to use it. So that is all the makeup I've collected over the past two months, there is still a lot more that I want to buy. Um, I'm going to London again this weekend and I have £50 worth of vouchers for Debenhams so I'll be using those at Kat Von D. Um, and then I'm going to the IMAX in May so expect a big haul from that. Um, a lot of people say I spend too much money on makeup, but I honestly think like if you have a hobby, you, you kind of just, you know, you spend your money, don't you? Whether you're a skateboarder and you need new parts, you're a photographer and you need lenses, you enjoy makeup, so you need products to play with. That's my, that's the way I justify it. I don't really care. I love makeup. I always try and get as many shifts at work as I can. I think the more extra shifts, the more makeup I can buy, so. I just love it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know what you thought down below. <coughs> I think I'm getting sick, so that's really, really shit. <laughs> um, if there's any makeup releases you think I should check out, then please let me know down below. Um, please don't even talk to me about the Wet n Wild goth collection. While it's not goth, I would kill for that makeup. I would kill for that whole set, but it's not available in the UK. You can't get it here, you can't ship it here, so cool love my life but yes thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye